Welcome to another Prices Alarms instructional video. I'm Tony the Tech. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to add and remove user codes from your NX alarm system. There's two things you're going to need for this. Uh, the master code for the system and access to your alarm keypad. You want to make sure it is the master code you have as well for this. Um, talk to your code administrator if you're not sure. You probably are the code administrator in order to do this. Um, you will require that master code. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, to change user codes on your NX system, you do require the master code for the system. Uh, we recommend that each individual user should have their own code for security reasons. And you can check your alarm manual to find out the maximum number of codes available on your system. For commercial sites, we also recommend you assign a code administrator to avoid confusion who is responsible for adding and deleting user codes. Okay, let's get started. Here's the basics and programming codes into your NX alarm system. Codes are stored in two digit user positions starting from 0, 1 and up to 40 and 98 depending on the alarm system you have. The master code is stored in position 0, 1. Regular user codes start at 0, 2 and up. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to change the master code for the system. The first step is enter star 5 and you'll notice on the screen it asks for a code. This is referring to the master code, which is currently 1, 2, 3, 4. It's then going to ask for your two-digit ID. This is the two-digit user position I was talking to you about. So the master code is stored in 0, 1. This uh, alphanumeric keypad will display the code that's currently in that position, which is nice. It shows that we currently use 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's change that to 2, 0, 1, 5. And if we're done code programming, press the pound key. It's as easy as that. You've just changed the master code. To add additional user codes, the start process is the same. Star 5, current master code is now 2015. And now you would enter the two digit user position. Let's add a code to position 5. 0, 5. Currently blank, showed by four asterisks. There's no code in that location. And let's enter 8890 and pound. So now 1234 is no longer in the system, will not arm or do anything. We would enter 2015. That now arms the system. And we can enter 8890 to disarm the system. Okay, so you can also add uh, more than one multiple user codes without entering and exiting user code programming, and I'll show you how to do that now. So you're going to go in the same way, programming star 5, current master code is 2015, ask for the two digit ID. So we know that 1 is the master code, 5 is our second code, so slots 2 through 4 are available. So we'll go into slot 2, we'll enter 2222 two, two, two as an example, 03. 3333 three, 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 and 044444. So you'll notice that each time you enter a code, it brings you back to this screen, which asks for the next two digit user slot. If you're done programming, you hit the pound key, but you could continue on. You could enter 50 codes that way. And I'll enter a pound to clear that. And so 2222 two, 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 arms 3333 three, will disarm, 4444 four, four, four will arm. And 2015 is our master code. We'll disarm. We recommend you always test your codes after you program to ensure that you haven't made any mistakes so that you can clear it up before that user tries to come in on the weekend and ends up setting off the alarm. Okay, for larger sites, I'm going to show you a situation that may come up for the code administrator. If you try to re enter a code that's already in the system, you will get a, a protest beep, and I'll show you what happens when that happens. So you enter star 5, master code. Let's go into slot 6, which we know is available, and enter a code that is already in the system, like 2222. It's just going to protest. It didn't actually enter that code, because that code is already in the system. So if we go back into slot 6, you'll notice it's still blank. So if you ever try to enter a code and you hear those protest beeps, you'll want to find out that, where that code is, um, and maybe change it or remove it from that location and move it to the new slot if you're tracking uh, individual users by code position. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to delete a user code. 
Now there's a couple of ways you can go about this. You can either remove the code entirely from that user position or you can overwrite it with a new code. So if you have a new employee replacing an old employee, you could use that same code position. You just enter the new code over top of the old code. But I'll show you how to actually remove it from the system. So we're going to go into the user code programming the same way, star 5, 2, 0, 1, 5. And let's say we're going to remove user 2. So we'll go 0, 2. It shows us the code currently programmed. And we're going to press the star or asterisk key four times, and that will wipe out that code. And you hit the pound key, and we'll try that code to make sure it no longer will arm the system. You've successfully removed a user code from your NX alarm system. Okay, so we've, uh, we've just walked you through how to change user codes on your NX system. I hope that was helpful. To summarize, it's very basic, star 5, master code, two-digit user position, followed by the four-digit code, followed by the pound key. Um, if you hear protest beeps after you've entered your four-digit code, then it's already in the system, and uh, you'll need to find a new code or find where it was and remove it. So um, anyway, it's Tony the Tech, we're here for you. Uh, Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 5, tech support team uh, has all the answers, so give us a call. Until next time.